Good morning. I'm going to take a moment of your time to share some of the excitement that we have experienced this year in preparing for our Master's Seminar and I'm going to mention some of the things that I intend to cover and share with you and I hope you find these extremely helpful. They have been very helpful in my practice. We've looked at the right and left hemispheres, the integration of that. Now we're going to consider the anterior and posterior aspects of the brain. This brings into account the control of distraction, particularly distraction when we are considering uh, planning, organizing, sequencing, and we very easily can get distracted. That's going to take care of that, and you're going to find that very helpful. We're going to look at the interruption to gait patterning. It can be another um, impedance to normal neurological functioning. We're going to look at the simple approach to pairing of the glands. More simple and more appropriate than you have learned to date. We're going to look at the chemical toxicity and the metabolites that can build up in our system and we have no uh, antidote in terms of antibodies to control them and that can give us a lot of immune difficulties. We're going to look at the blockages that can occur in your interstitial fluid and these blockages will give you difficulties in getting nutrients to the tissues, enzymes, etc. We're going to look at the virus that can get into the bone marrow. Very, very important to make sure this is eradicated to ensure that the immune system is responsive. We're going to look at what NIS has been doing with diabetes and we're getting some very nice results and I want to share that with you and hopefully we can get some traction with some of these terrible afflictions that are causing trouble globally. I'm going to look at the diminished signal that occurs between a tissue such as uh, the right and left poles of the thyroid. Uh, we can look at diminished signals to, to two glands, for example, the right and left kidney, the right and left adrenal. We're going to look at differentials that can occur in terms of signaling to joints, paired joints, such as the right hip and the left hip. All these give a lot of confusion in neurological signaling and set up a lot of structural difficulties that um, you will find to be a relief to those cases that don't seem to get off the mark in terms of hip pain and joint pain. We're going to look at glandular typing. These are the types of glands that are dominant for you and how to test for that and the nutrition that's appropriate to support that. And then lastly, we're going to look at the fallacy of gluten. Uh, this uh, subject is uh, global and it falls into the hands of those that are making a tremendous profit uh, with gluten products. It's got nothing to do with gluten. And I'm going to share with you the real cause of that. And at the same time, you're going to find that this is going to be taking care of these allergies that plague the world. So we've got a very exciting lineup and I'm excited about it and we're going to have an awesome seminar and look forward to sharing with you all. Thank you.